Hey guys, I realized that the second day when I was in the hospital, I didn't really film a whole ton, um, but I thought I would include those clips, even though they're very small and short clips, but I wanted to kind of narrate it so you guys wouldn't be confused. So I woke up, obviously, ate breakfast, took my meds and everything. The whole day was basically a waiting game, and the first clip of the day starts with my lunch, which by the way, or my lunch? That one, I can't remember, but I got lunch and I chose mashed potatoes and chicken. Do not ever, ever choose mashed potatoes in a hospital. Nastiest things ever. Disgusting. I learned my lesson. Oh, I look like a hot mess, but... I said I look like a hot mess. Oh. But we are on a little terrace thing. My dad's here now. So... I'm going to get out of the room and I'm feeling good enough today to go on a little walk. Well, we all can eat. Um, I had lunch and I ordered mashed potatoes and chicken. The mashed potatoes were disgusting and the chicken was dry, so we came and tried to find some ladies. So, yeah, I think we're going to go back up because I made machine bothering us. And so we went back to our room after that, I believe. I think I'm going to put the rest of the clips here. Hey guys, it's a little bit later. So crazy hospital hair. Sorry if this is shaky. I'm using my iPod. Not a whole ton has happened today. It's mainly been the waiting game. And I've been waiting for my food for a while. I got PB&J, some Lay's, then of course some water. And I just finished taking my evening just the meds. Um, See, today's been a good day. We've had a really good nurse today, thankfully. So everything has been much speedier today, especially with meds. It has not taken a ridiculous amount of time, so I'm glad. My dad went to go grab some dinner for himself, and we are... Oh, I need... What am I talking about? Of course there's things going on, though. That's what happened today. So... I'm pretty sure I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I did like an x-ray gym thing, like not a normal x-ray where just where you lay on a table and it's like the live, I don't know how to explain it, but basically there was a screen I was able to see my port in there and the radi inter radiologist, I guess, looked in there and he said nothing looked amiss and so has everyone. However, we tried because I have an IV and I'm just keeping my normal weekly infusions right now since I was unable to use my port. So I tried using my port again to see if I would get that pain and I got that pain again and even lowering the rate didn't do really anything. So yeah, and then the first half of today I was just like, oh my gosh, I did not feel good. It's just lack of sleep and then late meds, late meds always throw me off. Always. So. I'm doing much better today. We went on a mini walk, which I'm grateful I was able to handle that, even if it was just to a little terrace. Um, yeah, so the planet, well, we don't have a solid plan yet, but the result will be a port replacement surgery. Unfortunately, it's not what I want. It's not what I want to hear, but it's what's going to happen, and we're waiting, like I said, for the surgery surgeon and like surgery team to make the rounds so I'm gonna go eat and I'll update you later hopefully yeah here's my sandwich I'll explain later and obviously you just saw very very questionable clip of me like zooming in and on my face I apologize for that that totally made me cringe and if you haven't seen my last vlog, I was having poor issues of pain when infusing and it was nothing to do with the needle or anything like that. It was something like wrong with the port device or the central line. We went in and got checked, in, checked out first because I needed my weekly infusions and it was too painful for me to continue them. And two, we wanted to get this matter done and over with. So late Wednesday night we got admitted to the hospital like officially admitted and took out a room and everything and it was a hot mess of a night it was an i had been a nightmare nurse which i never say that about nurses even if i don't like them but she was just she was not good so we spent all day waiting for someone on the surgery to come and consult with us 
and somebody did come but from our understanding it was the PA which is like the assistant the nurse assistant to the surgeon or whatever not exactly sure and she came but we only talked about the issue we didn't talk about the plan or the surgery itself or necessarily the options of a surgery mm -hmm. like because there's a few different things they could do on surgery none of that we just talked about the problem and she said she would get back to us after she consulted with the surgeon and the surgeon surgery team so that night thursday night this was thursday night a resident, I don't remember if it's from the Team 1. Team 1 was the floor, the pediatric floor, like, medical team. And then surgery team were completely separate. So, I can't remember what group this resident was in. But this resident was just, like, she was not communicating with everyone else. Like, she came in and she's like, Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and discharge you. The team has agreed that you need the surgery, but to do it outpatient. And first of all, we're like, uh, no, excuse you. And we're like, we are not leaving until we speak to the surgeon. She's like, didn't you already make a plan? No, we didn't. We did not make a plan. We didn't talk about an actual plan. And the thing is that earlier that day, several times, someone's like, have you seen the surgery? Someone from the surgery team? No. And the nurse would be like, weird, they said they came down and vice versa with the doctor. And it was so incredibly frustrating because we're like, we have only seen the PA. That is the only person we've seen. We have not seen anyone else. So I'm already getting heated about it. So the head resident or the head of the surgery team, not the surgeon, one of the higher ups, I guess, of the team came down and he was like, we have come to an agreement that obviously, yes, the surgery needs to be done, but because tomorrow's schedule is packed tomorrow, meaning that Friday, we're thinking we are going to plan an outpatient. And I was like, no, listen, we have been telling you guys all day that I can't do an outpatient IV fluids don't sustain me. When I fast, I have to be on something like TPN or else my body will literally shut down. Like, I'm not like a normal person. And I need a before surgery and I need a after surgery and I need to be monitored at least a day before surgery. And they're like, well, okay, but we still want you to do it outpatient. And long story short, I snapped and I don't snap ever at doctors or nurses, ever. No matter how upset I am, I never do. But this girl snapped hard. I was like, have you read my chart? Because if you have read my chart, you would see how complex and complicated I am. My body isn't normal. I get the rare symptoms. I get the rare side effects. My body doesn't behave. My gut can shut down. I can go into a flare-up. You need to actually look at your chart and think of a better way. We are not leaving. Like, it's not happening. And they still wanted us to leave after that. And it was so weird it was so weird that this happened and it was like a fluke and it didn't continue it was like that night like right as we were getting getting ready apparently to be what we thought we were getting discharged trying to figure out the whole surgery situation i got very shaky when i get very shaky that is bad because that is a symptom of something with my dough it's either something directly with my dough or cyclic vomiting syndrome and i don't just get a random burst of it like ever and I got so shaky the worst I've gotten in like two years which says a lot it was horrible and I'm like look I need IV fluids so the nurse was like simple sugars and I'm like nothing to do with my blood sugar I need fluids this is my body telling me how to that I need fluids yes it's weird or not but that's what happens and I was on fluids so we stayed an extra night and by the morning I wasn't shaky anymore and I was like that's weird, but on the one, like, I don't know. It's just an interesting coincidence. But I hope you guys aren't upset that this vlog is kind of more narrated and, like, story time than a vlog. But I have the surgery day vlog coming, and then after that, I'll have another video coming. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like this video, subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh, 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 oh,